Rarotonga is the largest of the Cook Islands, a self-governing country in free association with New Zealand. This is what we look like about 15 minutes after we arrive in Rarotonga after a nine-hour flight from Los Angeles. And uh, this is the resort where we're staying. So here we are, Unit 13, happy home for a couple of weeks, and my wife reading in the patio. Or sometimes entertaining visitors. Inside, a queen bed, a local photograph, a TV in the kitchen. In case you thought this kitchen was just decoration, watch this. Cheers. This anchor is in front of the Anchorage restaurant where we had our buffet breakfast and where on Sunday evenings they had local musicians. Like every tropical resort, there's a fine expansive beach where you can just relax, listen to the surf, or When it was too far to go to the beach, we had a saltwater pool right in front of our unit. As well as the vibrance of the Poinciana, the resort is alive with all the other bright colors of the tropics. and fragrant with the sweet scent of frangipani. The morning of day three, we met our guide who took us on an island tour, including many gardens and plantations. Taro root is a staple everywhere in the tropics. Bananas, papaya, breadfruit, mangoes, Coffee, noni, sometimes called famine food, is also a source of traditional medicine. And this is dragon fruit, a night blooming plant whose flowers wilt in the morning. This is from the internet. Cassava, and our guide explained how they replant it. For our next crop, is we will take the stalk, okay, and we will cut all of these off, yeah. and we will cut them into lengths of about that long, yeah. and then we will plant them for our next crop. When we were on our own, we had a rental car to explore the island's roads. With its friendly invitations and all its brilliant flowering trees. The road around the island is crowded into the narrow plain between the dense jungle of the interior and the coast with its lagoon and reef. Where this ancient basalt, known as Black Rock, was once thought to be the place where the spirits of the dead left Rarotonga. Nowadays, the entire lagoon is one of the most popular playgrounds for tourists. Though so some prefer gift shops or checking out roadside bars like Charlie's. With its insanely large fish sandwiches. So if we want to explore the uh, island of Rarotonga, one of the first and most interesting things is right here beside the uh, resort, there's a, a local cemetery, a very unusual in the degree that they've taken care of the graves. A loving care given to individual graves on private property, to the military cemetery with its carved gate posts, 
and its memorial to the 500 Cook Island dead of World War I. Just east of the cemetery, an opening in the reef provides the entrance to Avarua Harbor. A visitor can go on a fishing charter or check out the inter island vessels, the old and the new. Avarua, with its population of around 6,000, is the capital of the Cook Islands. Its main business is tourism. And its favorite form of transportation, the scooter. The Saturday market is always well worth a visit. The pata, a wooden Polynesian drum, is a popular instrument in Rarotonga. A Maori sculpture commemorates the opening of the market. And these videos commemorate some of the rain in Rarotonga. Sometimes the rain left even the flowers looking a bit bedraggled. But there was plenty of good weather for walking, and I found a lot of places to walk, most of them in these little side roads near the resort. Passing farmyards and the prison. And many different kinds of tropical plants including lobster claws, ginger, century plants, and these fiendishly hot little ghost peppers. Walking the back roads, you'll see a few cows, many goats. Quite a few pigs. and sometimes a bit of traffic. During our final week, we took in the Highland Paradise Cultural Night. Our guide talked the Rarotonga history. From 1840 to 1980, more than a hundred years, nobody came back up here to these mountains. Where I'm standing, Guava Tree, Rock on the Reef. From where I'm standing, Katrapa Tree, Rock on the Reef. All that land, in between those markers is my reward for you. Now here are the conditions of that land. I'm still the, the, the landowner. But you're the, the woman on the right is processing noni while our guide explains its uses. Cuts, minor bruises, burns, dislocations, uh, used with the special skill and other uh, herbs and oils. The last war that took place on Rarotonga started in this valley over here. The war was between this Vakain tribe of Poigura and the neighboring tribe of Takitumu in the south. A Rarotonga war cry, Kamuka. followed by some Rarotongan music. Finally, watching the sunset at the Sunset Resort. <laughs>